Yes. <clears throat> All right, when we get to 20, I'm starting. So I need one more person to check in. Let's go. Oh, somebody that was watching is like, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get started. We're at a good number here. So I'm just kicking off my slippers. No better way to get our Monday started than just with a really good kick your butt workout. So let's just start marching, get our heart rate up. We got 20 in, good work. Okay, that was my number. I said to myself, I don't wanna start until we have 20 people. And we've got 20 right now. So arms up nice and high, just marching back and forth, just to get your blood moving here. And we're gonna do butt kick here. So just bring your heels back to your bum. Pushing some blood to those quads. Keep going. We'll do 10 on each side, that's seven. Nine. And let's go to high knees, so pull them up. Nice and high. That's five, we'll do 10 of these as well. Nine, one more for 10. Good work, okay, we're just gonna jump up and down in the same spot. Just get your heart pushing some blood through your body. Break a sweat. So up and down, up and down. Remember, if you don't have time to get this workout in with me right now, I save and share the videos. Let's go back and forth with your feet. Runner position with your arms. And I also posted Friday's class on YouTube. So if you put my name in on YouTube, that class will come up. And I'll start to do that with the rest of these classes so you can do boot camp every night of the week. Good work, let's go to Jack's. Keep going. Good work, good work. And that's 20 back and forth again. Don't stop. And up and down. Good work, 18. And good work, okay. Good job, so your heart rate should be up a bit. Can grab a small sip of water and then we're gonna start right away with legs. I see some new people have jumped in. We're almost up to 30 now, good stuff. So grab your weights, mat, water and towel, and then we'll get at it. We're gonna start with legs, legs unassisted, so no weights to start. We're just gonna do 10 jack squats with nothing in your hands. So jack squats, you just go down and then feet come together. That's a jack squat, okay? So let's do 10 of those to get started. Here we go, nice and low. One, two, four, six, eight, and 10, good work, okay. Now we're gonna go over to our right leg or your left because I'm flipped. So when I say right, you'll see me moving left, but do whatever leg you feel like. <laughs> I really don't care. We're gonna go right leg forward and back for 15 on each side. So these ones get tough. Focus on a nice strong core, step forward and come up and go back. Up, step, back. Good work, forward. Hi everyone. 
eight, that's ten, five more, push, nice control, that base leg is the one that starts to burn, two, step, and back for one, and 15, good work, okay, let's go over to the other side, stay nice and tall, sometimes this is my non-dominant non side, so get a little bit of wobbles going on, so do your best to try to stay up nice and tall, and here we go, up, back, up, try not to touch in the center, this is where you gotta really focus on that core balance. Three. Whoa. <laughs> Five. Good work. Step. Eight. Two to ten. One. Awesome work. Okay. I hope everybody that's watching is participating. Now we're going to go down for our pulse and squat. Now reach down, grab yourself a heavy weight for these ones because what we're going to do is bring the weight down. I'm grabbing a 10. We're going to bring the weight down, pulse for three, and then when we come up, we'll push the weight over our head. So just regular. Squat position, toes are facing forward, chest stays high. Try to keep your elbows in between your knees when you go down for three, okay? It's hard to talk <laughs> and train with you guys, but you're gonna have to just deal with it. <laughs> the breathing is obnoxious, I'm sure. Here we go. One, two, three, in, push. For two. Four, good work. Down, down, push. Six, down, two, three, push. Eight, two to go.
and then you get a drink. Down for two. And stop. And kick on ten. Good work. Okay. Good job. That's water break here. Let's take a little bit of water in. Not too much. And then we're gonna jump into a burpee set. So don't get too much jiggling around in there or you'll puke. I'm gonna have a little sip and chat while you guys drink. And towel off. <laughs> so every once in a while I treat you with a burpee set. Today we're gonna be doing a total of 50 burpees. We do 10 and then two exercises in between and then we modify the burpee. So I will show you what the burpee will be and then I will tell you what the exercises are in between and we get a little sip after the third burpee set. Okay, so first one is just regular burpees and we're not going to do a push up on the bottom. Just a regular jump up, down, back and in. And then we're going to go down on our mat and do Sphinx and Lower Plank Spider-Mans. So the Lower Plank Spider-Mans, well Sphinx is this one here where you go down and up and then alternate hands or arms. And then the Spider-Man plank, you're in the lower plank position. And we're going to pull our right knee to our right elbow, touch, and then left knee to left elbow. We're going to do 10 of each. And then back into our next burpee set. Okay, so let's get started. First set, regular burpees, 10 regular burpees without a push-up. And then down on our mat, okay? So, make sure we have space for your burpees. Here we go. Up, one, that's five. on your mat we go for six, ten, and we're going to alternate, okay? So down and up with the right, and then down and up with the left. Four, ten. Up we go, and here we go. Up, other side, for one. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Keep going. Six. Seven. Four, 
but keep going. I'm gonna turn this way. And six. Seven. Eight, two to go. Nine. And rest on 10. Good work, okay. We're gonna get back up for our burpees. So next one, next set is burpees with a scissor. And then we're gonna do extended plank row with weights. So grab, I think I'll use tens. So get your weights set and ready to go for when we go after our burpees into the extended plank position. And then you're gonna go up on your weights and row. Pull, touch, and pull, and touch. Go the other way. That's the first one. And then for the next one, you're gonna roll your weights to the side. And we're gonna do kickbacks. So in the extended plank position, you're gonna bring your nose to your knee, and then kick back 10 on the right. Nose to the knee, kick back 10 on the left. Looks like this. Just crunch and extend. Crunch and extend. When you extend, point your toe strong and use your glute engage at the top. Okie doke. Let's get up. We're doing burpees with the scissor. So you're going to jump up, back, out, scissor, legs come together, and in for one. I'll show you quick. And then you're gonna do 10 with me. So it looks like this. Up, down, back, out, in, and that's burpees with the scissor. All right, let's get our 10 in, and then we'll go down into that extended plank position. All right, we're doing great. Here we go for 10. scissors. Good work. I see a few more people jumping in saying they're here and watching, hopefully participating. Okay. Down on your mat with your weights ready to row. I'm using tens, I said, but you can use whatever you want. We'll alternate on these ones, okay? Holy Hannah, I'm hot. This is good. This is good. Okay. So get those weights in your hands so that you can go up on. If your weights don't have a flat side, you can always put your hands on the floor and just grab it when you row. Okay? Mine have a flat side, so I can't do that. Or I shouldn't do that anyway. Okay. Up you go. Let's alternate. Right. One. Now we'll do 10 on the one side and then go over and do 10 on the next side because it's a lot of moving around if you're alternating on this one. All right, trusty towel. We're going to get a drink after this one and before our next set I said after three but there's only 
four, so halfway is after this, okay? All right, hands, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Let's crunch and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Rest here. Good work. I know I was slipping back a little bit. It's tough on this one to try to keep yourself from pushing back. Do your best to stay right on top of that plank. When we get fatigued, it gets a little sloppier, but we're doing good. You're all doing good because you're here. Good work. Okay. Let's go up for the other side. And in. One. Two. Four. And there, send. Good work, take a rest. Let's have a little bit of a water break, not too much, because we still have 30 more burpees to get in here. So just towel off, quick sip of water. And then we'll get into the next set. You guys are doing good, okay. So this next set, we are going to do burpees with an in and out. I'll show you that one. And then we're going to climb onto our mat, flip over onto our back and do 20 leg raises, both legs together. And then we're going to crunch and do a scissor in the boat position. So leg raises, lay all the way back, legs extended, pull your toes toward your face. Drop your heels and pull up. Try to keep your shoulders and your head off for those ones. And then for our scissors with a crunch, they look like this. You're gonna go out, scissor, and in. Out, two, three, and in on four. All right, we'll do 10 of both of those. But first, burpees with an in and out. So I hope you guys could see me there. I feel like I just set myself right out of the screen. Okay. So burpees with an in and out. You go up, down, back, in, back. And that's one. We're gonna do 10. So fun. All right. Let's get these in. 10 burpees with an in and out. Here we go. That's 
four. Six. Doing good, everyone. Stay with me. Eight. Up. That's ten. Halfway. Pull. Twelve. Six to go. One. Two. Three left. And down and up for 20. Good work. We're doing good. This is a tough set. Burpees really get your heart rate up. So it takes a lot to kind of get through those in-between exercises when your heart is pounding out of your chest, but stay with me. Okay, next thing are those starfish crunches. So get everything out of your way so you're not kicking things over. We're doing good. We're working down our list here. So in this position here, you're gonna extend, open, close, and crunch. Okay, let's do 10. Here we go. One, two, three, four, two, four, six, eight, and stop on ten. Good job. Alrighty, alrighty. We're getting there. Okay, so this last set, you guys are probably doing the math and thinking that was only 30 burpees, and I said 50, and you are right. What we're gonna do is 10 burpees with the push up, and then we are, oh, we're doing a row with the weight. So I'm gonna use my 10 for this one. And for this row, you're going to have your legs open up the width of your mat. You're going to go back, press back, pull up, and row forward with your legs extended straight. Okay? We're going to do 10 of those. And we're going to go up into the Russian twist position and do 40 Russian twists. With your feet floating if you can. They don't have to be floating. But let's try to get 40 in and really twist down. So, the reason why this makes this 50 burpees is because we finish off this set with 10 regular burpees. We start this set with 10 burpees with a push-up. So this is actually a true burpee. And then we finish that set with 10 regular burpees. So I'm giving you guys an opportunity here to let your heart rate come down just a little bit before we get into our 10 burpees with a push-up. Now, I'm not gonna go through these 10 super fast because I want you to do your best to get a nice strong push-up in. And for those of you that are not doing push-ups without dropping your knees, this gives you an opportunity to kind of drop your knees and get a good press in because it's hard for us to work our core and our chest when we're doing burpees or push-ups, I'm sorry, with your knees dropped down if you don't have time to set your position. So we're not flying through these burpees. We're gonna go up, down, when you kick back, push up, and then pull back in. And we'll get 10 in of those. So I'm gonna fix my towel to catch the sweat, because these ones are tough. Are we ready? 10 burpees with a push up. Here we go. Up. And I'm not counting, I gotta work here. Back. Five for me, keep going everybody. Up, down, back, push. Good work, keep going, three to go. And up, back, push. And 
That's my 10. Good work. All right. Let's grab a weight. You can use whatever weight you feel comfortable with. I'm using my 10 again. All right. So feet are straight on your mat and they're the width apart of your mat. And then grab your weight and start with it on your chest. Let's bring it back. Push back. Pull it to your chest. Sit up and row for one. Back. Reach up and row. Back. Pull for three. Back. Reach. Five more. Push. Down. Back. Up. Four. Push. Three. I'm like shimmying myself off my mat. Pull. Four, two. One more. Down. Back. And pull with that down. And good work. That's 10 for me. Okay, so Russian twists are next. Make sure when you're twisting that weight, you're tucking it into that back pocket. We're gonna float our feet for these. So this is my position, and let's go for 40. Here we go. Two, five, ten. Just regular burpees, no push-ups, no in and outs, nothing fancy. Up, down, back and in for 10. And then we're done with this set. Are we ready? Here we go. See a few people have fallen away. Hopefully you're just getting cleaned up so you can jump back in for the second set. It's a little bit of a tough, a little bit of a tougher class today. Everybody hates burpees, but I'm flipping my page, which is good. All right, let's go to core next. So grab some water, let your heart rate come down. And I'm just going to go over a few of the core exercises that we're going to do. Now, we're going to do this one with a single weight. So I'm going to use my 10 for as long as I can, but I'm going to keep my 8 handy in case I get completely exhausted. And we're going to do some combinations for our core. So a lot of times we'll go through the single sets and it's super effective, but this is gonna be even better. So our first set is a combination of scissors with a crunch. So you're gonna start with the weight, you're gonna crunch, and then extend, let's extend up, one and two, out, in, you gotta go back out, one and two. My brain wants to take that weight back behind my head, but you don't have to do that. So 
So crunch, extend, and then scissor right and then left. All right, we're gonna do 10 of those. And I want you to stay slow and steady, so stay on my count. Let's go back. Okay, let me see. We gotta start extending up. So start like this, here we go. Crunch, extend, one, two, go back. Crunch, extend, one, two, and out. Crunch, extend, one, keep that weight there, two, uh, out, one, So <laughs> no worries too much about getting our heart rate up. And I think I'm gonna use the eights. So you can get your in-between weight. I have fives, eights, and tens. And I'm gonna use my eights for this one. So what we're gonna do is a single leg lunge and press. So I'm gonna start with my right leg and I'm gonna step back. 
with my leg and then press when I come up. Okay? So let's do 10 on the right side, reverse lunge, and then press when you stand. And let's keep that left hand on your hip. That will keep your back and chest tall and proud. Keep that core engaged, nice and tight. Are we ready? Stepping back with the right. Drop your knee and press for one. Down, for two. Drop, push, down, and four. Good work. Down, press, six, eight, two to go on that side. Push for 10. Good work. Okay, let's go over to the other side, which is my non-dominant side. So you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Sometimes I get tipping all over the place. Here we go. Step back, two, three, and four. Down, for two, three, four. Two to go. Step and push for nine. Down and press for ten. Good work. Okay. And now we're gonna squat. I think I'm gonna use my eights again. Yes, both eights. Grab both weights. This time we're gonna squat and punch. Now a lot of times my boot campers. And clients don't know that I put my thumb on the same side as my fingers to improve grip strength, but sometimes you need to hold on nice and tight so you don't lose your weight. So for this one, I'm gonna flip my thumb around so that I can punch nice and strong when I come up from my squat. So you're gonna hold them at your chest, bring them down, punch, punch, and come up, okay? Nice strong squat position. Keep those weights at your chest, but away. Don't rest them on your chest. All right. So squat, punch when you're low, and stand with them back up at your chest for 10. Here we go. Down. One. exercises because we haven't done any of those yet today. So this one, first one we're going to do is similar to, well not similar to, but in the same manner I want you to keep your thumbs on the opposite side because you're going to be turning your weights towards the floor. Right there you can if you want but it's hard to hold on if your thumb is not on the same side. So when you do your upper body I like your feet nice and tight together. Feels like I'm breathing like a free train here. Okay, feet are close together. Arms are up in this position here. Shoulder press position. You're gonna turn your palms to the floor and then pull them back up. So we're working our delts, rear delts especially. So if you feel like it's too much, go lighter on these. Fives are super effective. Eights are a challenge. Anything heavier is a really big challenge. So. Challenge yourself. Here we go. I'm using eight and down. One, two, four, six, 
Eight, two to go. Drop, pull, down, and 10. Good work. All right. Okay, keep those weights in your hands. The next one, we're gonna modify our windmill. <laughs> so, I think we did these last week. If you didn't do them with me on Wednesday night, we did them on Friday morning. Your palms face towards the screen, so they face me. And then what we're gonna do to modify this one is we're gonna start with our palms facing forward at the front, pull all the way up, and then drop, and then turn. Okay? Now, I want you to do this one nice and slow and steady, especially coming down. Let's modify a little bit by slowing that motion down, the motion from the top to the bottom. So pull up and down for one. Turn, up, two, turn, pull, three, turn, up, four, turn, up. Look how color coordinated I am with my weights. Five, <laughs> up, six, pull, seven, eight, Two more, pull, nine, forward, pull, and down for 10. Good work, folks. Okay, now I gotta keep an eye on the time because last week I kind of was cutting it close. And we wanna try to get to Tabata tonight for sure. So I put my weights down because, oh I know, pick your weights back up. I put my weights down because I want to go heavier. Oh, I'm like, look at my other 10, but I had it set up for core when we hit core next. So, this one, we're gonna combine as well. Feet are gonna to be together. You're gonna to drop your weights, fly, and then pull up with your weights facing forward like that. All right, feet are nice and tight together. Core is strong. You're gonna push your bum to the wall behind. Arch your lower back. Tummy drops to the floor. Chest is gonna stay high. And I'm watching to make sure you're doing a good form. <laughs> are you ready? Drop, one, fly, three, and four. Drop, pull, three, four, two. Three, I'm gonna to turn to the side. Drop, five, and four. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Five, six, down, seven, three more. Eight. Nine, and one, two, three, and that's 10. Good work, alrighty. All right, grab a quick sip of water. That was good. And then you're gonna set your weight, I don't know, can you guys see that? On the end of your mat, in the upright position. I'm coming forward to peek and see. The comments and stuff cover up part of my screen, so I can't. And I'm afraid to try to fix it because I don't want to lose you guys. So just know that my weight is balancing. I think you can see it. Can you see it? Somebody tell me you can see it. Your weight is balancing at the end of the mat. You're going to get on to your mat. I'm going to pull this this way just a bit to guarantee that you can see that my weight is balancing up, right? You can use a weight or a water bottle what ifs and it doesn't matter what weight because you're not going to touch it hopefully i'm going to use my water bottle i think because that weight is tippy so weight and water
water bottle, whatever you want to use. You're going to drop yourself all the way back. Extend your legs and point your toes. And we're going to hit our core. A few more exercises before we get to Tabata and then do our cool down. Starting with your weight or your water bottle in between the middle of the mat, you're going to tap your toes above and then open wide and tap your heels. So you're going to be working your adductors and abductors and your tummy. We'll do 10 of those. Are you ready? Here we go. Open up. Small upside down B for one. Pull. Two. Three. Four. And rest on 10. Good work, okay. Let's put both legs on the left side of your mat. We're gonna travel over, tap your right heel, and then bring it back and touch for 10. We'll do 10 and 10. Okay. Oh my goodness, we're doing so good. Extend both legs out, right leg, tap, and one. For two. Three, point those toes strong for four. Nice and wide, five, six. Up and over that water ball, seven, eight, nine. And rest on 10. Good work, we're almost there. Go over to the other side. This is the last one before we do Tabata. Don't leave me yet. Here we go. Over, one, two, four, six, strong pointed toes, straight legs, eight, and rest on 10. Good job. All right, quick sip of water. I'm going to tell you your four Tabata movements while you drink, and then, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm tired. You guys have worked me good. Okay, so Tabata is four minutes, and we have four minutes. So, 20 seconds of exercise with 10 seconds rest in between. And we're going to combine. We're going to do arms and legs, arms and legs for this Tabata set. So let's start. Let's do legs, arms, legs, arms. Okay. We're going to touch and jump to start. So this is the top part of a burpee. So you're going to go down to the ground, touch, and jump. That's all you got to do. 20 seconds. Touch the ground, jump up. Then you're going to go down into the extended plank position for pulse push-ups. So you go down. And you push halfway, halfway pulse, pulse, pulse. We're going to get back up and we're going to just do jump, split lunges. So just alternate down and up, down and up, down and up. And then for the last one, we're going to go back into that push up position and this time full push ups, all the way down and all the way up. Okay? Touch and jump, pulse push ups, jump, split lunges and then full push-ups to finish. 20 seconds each, twice through, and then we're done. You guys are doing good. People haven't, <laughs> people haven't left. People are like, we can see you. <laughs> okay, it's just a stall. Just trying to catch my breath here. All right, so I'm not gonna talk much because in order for me to get a good workout in, I can't talk through these 20 seconds. And I'm timing in my head because I can't put my Tobias timer on while I'm doing this live. <laughs> so good luck, it could be like 30, 20, 40, 10, who knows. So counting down for touch and jumps. Three, two, here we go. Here, 10 seconds, 
Get down on the floor for pulse push-ups. Get ready. Three, two, halfway push. Good work, rest. Up you get. We're doing alternate, a split lunge. <laughs> you guys are doing good. Get ready. Three, two, here we go. Good work, rest here. All right, we're going down for full push-ups. Good time. Five seconds, as many as you can get in. Here we go. Good work, rest, rest, rest. Up you get. We're back at the top. Stay with me, last push. Three, two, touch and jump. Down and up. Good work. 10 seconds rest. Pulse push-ups are next. Get ready, five seconds. Here we go. Push them out. And rest. Last one. Push ups. Push ups to finish strong. Down you go. Five seconds. As many as you can get in. Last 20 seconds of class. Here we go. Good job, thank you everyone. That was a good workout. I will be back here on Wednesday. If anybody has any questions, why am I yelling? <laughs> I'm just tired. If anybody has any questions about any of the classes or what's going on in the gym, please message me and please share the video so that other people can join in. This is a great way for us to connect. I've got at least 20 people joining me at class, which is amazing, that means that all of my regular recruits and some extras are joining us. So this is a really good thing. Be sure to push water. If you get sore, Epsom salts baths work wonders. And remember to keep eating clean, getting your rest, get a walk or a bike ride in. 
You guys have a great week. I will see everybody on Wednesday night. Take care and thanks for training with Let's Get Fit with Joe.